All right, so uh, Mr. Dinosaur to three here. I wanted to record this tutorial because I see that a lot of people have trouble with the pseudo wave beams. I mean, pseudo wave beams overall like seem to be troublesome, right? But it seems that a very early on that it's trouble like causing a lot of trouble. It's the one uh, to be able to uh, then uh, do phantom early, okay? So I'm going to be showcasing the way that I do it, and I feel like it's very consistent. So hopefully this tutorial helps you, okay? So this is right after that save point right there, after you do the ME skip, the first ME skip. That actually requires another set of beam. And the idea for this one is to be able to clip your shoots so that they hit that thing right there, okay? And that way it's going to be able to go up there. You're going to actually be able to skip a few cutscenes. Like the first one after the water, the actual water section, and then a couple more later on where the eye of the mini motor brain uh, sees you. Uh, also, you're going to be using this gap right here to go to the first, uh, I mean, to go and fight uh, to get Phantom before, before you get the spider claws, okay? So the way that I do this, so I have two visual cues. So I'm going to be using this rock right there that I'm pointing. And I want to have my uh, cannon almost in a vertical position, uh, I mean parallel position to that rock when I'm shooting the beam upwards. So the way I do that is I'm going to be sliding like up from around this distance and I'm going to be jumping back on an arc that it almost kind of forms the way of the, you know, like there's a rounded shape here on the rocks. I kind of want to mimic those like from around here to like here and when I get here I want my cannon to be almost in parallel position to this rock right here okay so let me give it a shot see I got it once and uh, let's do it again so oh man uh, I probably need to slow this down a little bit so if I shoot the way, like, I don't want to shoot it too back or too forward, okay? There it is. So let me let me try it again and see if I can do it a little bit faster. It's almost like, it is not like... Uh, it kind of feels like RNG, but you can get, like, very consistent with it after a few practice. Like, I know that one took a little bit longer than probably what would be uh, good on a run. Luckily, this is early on. But if I take my time here, norm see, I can normally do it a little bit faster. Let me try it again here. And this is a good way to do it. You can load last checkpoint. If you save right here, you can load last checkpoint and be able to practice this like over and over and over. So let me try it again here. At least I kind of know, like, what am I supposed to be doing, see? Uh, like, it, it doesn't feel as random anymore. And as you can see, like, the second attempt right there was, like, pretty fast. So, uh, it's supposedly, like, Phantom early takes, like, saves, like, about 20 to 30 seconds. I guess it really depends on how fast you can pull this. But with a little bit of practice... It won't be that bad. Like, it's probably still gonna be a reset point for speedrunning, especially if you're like aiming for like really good times at some point in time. Uh, but the good thing about this is that it's very early on on the run. So, resetting here might not feel as bad. But again, if you know what you're doing or at least have a better idea on how to do it, it might be uh, easier to pull it off and to not reset as often as like just like trying to go through this like randomly right and normally when i take a little bit of time here i can pull it off a little bit easier uh anyway that was that already took way too long so again like it's not 100 consistent but hopefully at least this explanation helps you to get a little bit more consistent as you can see i have some like most of them have been decent attempts but uh, it's still like gonna be troublesome sometimes. Luckily, the previous uh, one is not like as hard, so it's not so big deal to do the reset here. All right, hopefully this uh, tutorial helps, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.